Hey guys, Alex here. Thanks so much for watching my dog training videos. Be sure to drop by my website, brightdog.com, where you can pick up a copy of the official Bright Dog Academy ebook, plus learn more about my private coaching program where you can personally work with me one on one. Hey everybody, Alex here for Bright Dog Academy. I've seen some of your guys' comments, a lot of your comments actually, asking for video breakdowns of other videos to explain what's really going on. So without wasting any more time, let's get into one of the most popular videos uh, Caesar Milan getting bitten by Holly. Okay, so first of all, let me just say this. Anytime you're watching a show and it tells you, do not attempt the techniques you're about to see without consulting a professional, that should be a red flag already that whatever this guy's about to do is probably not a good idea. So if you're not familiar with this video. See, that's unsure, that's not submission. Okay, this is a dog who has food aggression issues. Now what he just said there, <laughs> ugh. Okay, stop right here. Look at this dog, this dog. Now, if you're not a trained professional, you're not gonna understand this. You wouldn't see this naturally. That's fine, that's why I'm doing this video. But look at this dog's face, all right? Look at the position of the dog's ears. Look at the dog's eyes. Look at the dog's eyebrows. Um, you can see the forehead is tense, the jaw is shut. Just right here, if this was me in this position, this is a dog who is telling me, I'm nervous, I'm afraid, all right? To make matters worse, he's at the dog's eye level, staring the dog down. Eye contact with dogs is very threatening. He's directly trying to intimidate this dog in what's going on here, okay? See, that's... Watch what she does. She's gonna start looking away from him, avoiding eye contact. See, that's unsure, that's not... See how she's looking down, avoiding? She's avoid <laughs> directly avoiding eye contact. Second sign in what? Two seconds saying, I'm not comfortable. Good girl. Okay, now now she's, she's starting to, to eat. He's gonna get closer. And did you see that that lunge? It was like two, it, it was half a second. She lunged forward. Let me rewind it. Watch, she's gonna look, as it gets closer, she's gonna lunge and, and speed up how, how quickly she eats. Watch, ready? Now, do you see that? So, and then, okay, then we'll get into that next. So that, that, again, that's another warning sign of her of her trying to protect it. He missed that, and then he continued to go forward, which is what is leading to this and him hitting the dog. Don't tell me he didn't hit the dog. He just hit the fucking dog, okay? It's, you don't even... <laughs> he hit the dog, all right? Which means, which now provoked the situation even further, okay? So we already have a dog who's fearful. We already have a dog who's nervous. Now we have a dog who is using, who is guarding his food bowl. And what does Caesar do to treat the aggression? He uses more aggression. Anytime you use force on a dog, you teach them to use force back on you, okay? Force does not cure aggression. So he hits the dog, and now the dog goes into full on, I'm scared for my life, right? This is a dog who is, is behaving aggressively, yes, but it's not a dog who's behaving aggressively unprovoked or for no reason at all. This is a dog who is, in this dog's mind, in fear for his life or her life. This is a female dog, Holly, okay? Because of what just happened, right? The do Remember, we're thinking about this in the dog's mind. This is a, Caesar's a complete stranger. This dog has no idea who he is. He's never had interactions. And now here's a complete stranger trying to come and take my food away from me, okay? And this is a dog who we already know has food issues. So not only does a stranger try to steal my food, now he's hitting me. So now this this dog is going into full on I have to protect myself. I'm in, I'm in danger, scared for my life, right? And that's what this position is. Uh, teeth are up. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> teeth are up. Um, this this low position. Um, the bar, the snarling, the growling, baring his teeth. Ears are being held back. The licking the lips, blinking rapidly. Look, keeps licking his lips. Keeps licking his lips. If you've seen my other videos, you know that's a huge warning sign of the dog saying, "I'm uncomfortable. I'm nervous. Stop." Okay, this is a dog who is at the highest level of fear right now. And what does Caesar do? He's in this retarded position here, just. just <laughs> Staring down the dog. This is this is doing nothing, right? That doesn't do anything. There's no. That's not a training technique. That is not a. That, that's not something that's going to cure the dog's behavior. That is just him just standing there doing that, ma making the situation worse. Directly challenging, and he's provoking the dog more. Okay. Do you see that again? Licking his or uh, uh, turning away. Okay. He avoided eye. She avoided eye contact again. He's intimidating, and she's gonna avoid eye contact again. She's avoiding eye contact, avoiding eye contact. She's trying to make herself seem non-threatening. She's scared. Because the brain is looking away. 
this way. Look at yeah. his lips, so looking away. There. She didn't do that to you earlier? No, not like that. Right. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Okay. No, this is the first time I see this you see behavior. Me, yeah. yeah. So you see, just a relaxation. It's, 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 that is uh, not uh, a relaxed dog. That dog is continually to look away from Caesar because she's so frightened. Um, it's an understanding. Now, right there, okay? The second he went to reach for, what happened? Watch. He goes to uh, reach. It's, uh, it's an understand. Lip goes up and she snaps. Right there, he should have been 10 feet away from that dog two minutes ago, okay? But right there, that one snap, immediately, he should have taken a step back to, to, to de-escalate the situation and get the dog out of that that um, stress zone, okay? And instead, what does he do? He gets closer, and he gets bit, and he deserved it. And now, again, the dog goes back into that same position we saw, what? 30 seconds ago, where she is so fearful for fearing for her life that she's back into this position. Now, I know that he's he's not trying to kill her. He's not endangering her life. We know that as humans, but in the dog's mind, she doesn't understand that. So that's why she's resorting to this. When dogs are fearful or scared, they do one of two things. They either try to run away, and if that doesn't work, they attack. In this instance, she decided to attack. Okay, again, more, more signs. Watch, licking her lips, looking away. Beyond the obvious growling, licking the lips. And they see that the camera. Do you hear what he said? I didn't see that coming. You didn't see that coming. I saw it coming from two. This is a minute. What are we at? A minute twenty-three, and I saw fifteen signs of it coming. All right. So again, here's more terrible advice. Now he's just cornering the dog and and pushing her into a corner, which is gonna further provoke. Her. And see, this is hard because, you know, it's a TV show, so they use a lot of camera cuts. You can see here, though, still continuing to avoid eye contact. Um, it's not like we have one continuous shot to see everything. But in the way they've edited, uh, looking away again, right? In the in the footage we have, it's very apparent that this dog was going to react the way she did. Elapsed time, 3 minutes, 6 seconds. So again, this is not a training technique. After a dog becomes aggressive or bites you, stand staring them down in a corner for 3 minutes, is not teaching them anything. We're way past the point. If, if you don't give a dog um, praise or correction within two seconds of a behavior, they have no idea why they're getting it. So him standing here with his dog in the corner for three minutes, again, is doing absolutely nothing. <sighs> Blinking rapidly, oh, looking away, idea. continuing to look away, looking away. But now I can see the aggression that he was showing to him. Blinking again, looking away. Really you know she's a completely yeah, avoiding eye contact with Caesar. Be allowed around babies. Because she's terrified. This is gonna hurt right here, peroxide. Yeah, yeah. So this was a 110% uh, his fault. Look, again, she's avoiding. Look, it's so obvious. It's so that obvious when you know what to look right for. Her face. She's completely avoiding looking at him because she's terrified. Open mouth. I gotta go. And now we're, at, we're up to five minutes, okay? He just stared that, stood with that dog in the corner for five minutes, and it did nothing. It didn't, it didn't uh, necessarily cause any harm, but it didn't teach her anything. Caesar, I'm sorry. No worries, man. No, that's my job. Here, just put it, don't worry, don't worry about it. Is he okay? Oh, oh my gosh, fine. that was really he bad. He fine. Yeah, it was bad. And you know what? This whole, th this whole situation is just insane. That this, that this was even, I mean, See, it's not, I don't make it any secret that I think this guy is, is terrible when it comes to dogs. Um, but the fact that this is being portrayed as, as you know, this is a, uh, the right way to go about treating dogs who have a food aggression problem is insane. So many warning signs, and he reacted completely the wrong way. Now, I have a whole video that's like 20 minutes long about how to treat food aggression. I'm not going to cover that in this. If you want to learn the right way to do it, go watch that video. I just want to point out all the things that went wrong in this video. And this is one of the biggest parts here that just drives me absolutely nuts, okay? When your dog is giving these kind of signs, like licking his lips, snarling his teeth, get the hell away, okay? Whether it's your dog or another dog, you don't confront the dog and get closer to them. You're asking for that dog to escalate the situation, okay? Um, and this is so, so clear that the signs that this dog gives after he hits her in the neck, okay? This is a dog that's saying, get away from me. And if you continue to go at the dog and continue to get closer and do what he's doing here, you're gonna get bitten, all right?
It's clear as day when dogs give signs like this that what it means. Stop, get away. If you don't, I'm gonna attack you, okay? I wasn't intending for this to, you know, be such an angry video on my part, but you know what? When I see things like this, it just gets me so angry because there, we blame dogs for things that are not their fault. And yes, I understand that this is a TV show, okay? This is not some, it's for entertainment. That's obviously much more entertaining than watching me, you know, ignore a dog for 30 minutes. But it doesn't change the fact that people see this and then think that this is okay and that it's, it's an acceptable way to train your dog. And then what ends up happening is people imitate what they see on TV. Someone's gonna have a dog with food aggression. They're gonna do this. They're gonna smack the dog in the neck. They're gonna get in the dog's face. The dog is gonna maul him in the face then and bite him. And then that dog is going to be euthanized. So please take this video as an example. If your dog has food aggression, if your dog has any type of aggression, don't do anything you saw in this video. I'd be pretty dumb if I was just telling you don't do something and not giving you an alternative. So that being said, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel because I do have videos 15, 20 minutes of how to treat dogs with food aggression, how to treat dogs with leash aggression. Um, so if you want to learn the right way to do it, go check those videos out. All right, guys, see you next time.